Hi, this is Tom with Compix Media, and today I'll be showing you how easy it is to set up and run New Scroll. Our final product will have two scrolling crawls, two logos, one animating and the other stagnant, a title, a rating box, a lower third template, and a standard date and clock. I have an offline copy here which I'm going to be recording my screen with, which is set to SD but the output you will see is going to be HD. Typically our HD output allows 1080i or 720p, but YouTube will only allow 720p. For my first step, I will load some data. I will click Open Data for my lower crawl, and I will right click and edit my data so that you can see how it looks. Each data will be separated by a different line, as you can see. Now that my data is loaded, I will check the box for my lower crawl and press the on button to be up and running. You'll notice in New Scroll you can adjust the speed for each of your crawls. You can adjust it where it says upper crawl speed or lower crawl speed. Your text is actually attached to the template, which is pre made in our GenCG program. Your template for your crawl will be located to the right of your crawl. If you right click the template, you can edit it, which will bring up an offline copy of GenCG so that you can edit your final template. Now keep in mind that this is a very simple and basic scroll bar here. It's just a flat shape with plain black. If you wanted to kick your production up a notch, you could bring in 2D images which have a very 3D look to them, as you can see. Each template will need an at one symbol in the bar which allows your program to attach the text to the bar. If you move the at one along the bar you can adjust the space between each individual data for your crawl. Once you're done adjusting your crawl template make sure to save it and the new scroll will automatically be updated. One thing to note is to make sure that the template is in crawl mode. If it is not you will not have a scrolling crawl. Now I'm going to add another crawl, located just above my previously created crawl. I will open my data just like we did before. Now I will make sure that my upper crawl box and lower crawl box are both checked. And then I'll be ready to go, and all I need to do is press my on button. As you can see, it's very easy to get two crawls up and running at the same time. All I had to do was open my data, check both boxes for lower crawl and upper crawl, and press the on button, and we were up and running. Next, I'm going to select my logos I want for my station's representation. You can use animating or stagnant logos. I can also apply a title to my project, which for now we will call Live. I will then check the box right next to my clock, and I will also check my rating system and my cut file. I will then go to my cut tab and make sure my cut file has been uploaded and selected with a double click. And as you can see, this is what our final product should look like. You can adjust it so that your rating box will only stay up for a matter of moments, then disappear. You can adjust this under the logo rating settings so you can specify how long you want your rating to stay up on air. Located in your new scroll folder, you will find folders for your crawl templates, logos, and cut files. Having these folders will allow you to organize all of your work. Another outstanding feature about New Scroll is you'll be able to adjust the position for any and all of your objects on your screen. You will select layers and position and you'll easily be able to maneuver any of your items on your page like so. And once you press OK, your New Scroll will automatically update the position of the item. If you need support or have any questions, please email us at support at compix.tv or you can visit our website for more details at compix.tv. Or if you have any sales inquiries, please call our offices at 949-585-0055 and ask for sales. Thank you.